Hello and welcome to another video review on our YouTube channel. Today I'm going to talk about and explain all the features and the details of the Vortex Razor Ultra HD or UHD Ultra High Definition Binoculars. Uh, if you're familiar with Vortex, you know that they have a Razor series of binoculars for quite some time. Uh, at the moment uh, I think it's, it's a second generation already. And uh, those binoculars are always priced around 1,200 uh, euros or somewhere from 1,200 to 1,400 euros. But now in 2019 they came out with this uh, Ultra HD binoculars uh, which are a bit different and which are even one step higher in terms of quality but also in terms of price. So uh, what makes them special is that this is the first these are the first binoculars made by Vortex which feature Abeconic Prism. We know that Abeconic Prism was uh, uh, almost solely produced by Zeiss and Doctor in the past, but then later also Swarovski joined with their SLC binoculars. So uh, I think at the moment that Zeiss and Swarovski they are both producing binoculars with um, Abeconic Prism system. Why is that so rare? Because it's really expensive to produce abiconic prisms and compared to normal Schmidt and Pechan roof prisms, uh, they have a higher light transmission rate. So they're mostly used for binoculars which are meant for low light use. Uh, 8x42 binoculars, uh, it's an, always a question of, of sense. If, if it's sensible to make 8x42 binoculars with abiconic prisms, uh, since they are not used often for low light because 8x56 binoculars are used for low light more often. And the funny thing is that uh, in 2019 Zeiss stopped their production of the Victory HT binoculars with uh, Abiconic Prism uh, in this class. So they, they still produce 8x54 uh, 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 and 10x54. Uh, and not uh, 8 by 42 and 10 by 42. So when Zeist left, Vortex joined the party and came in with these binoculars. Uh, also Swarovski, they have their SLC HD uh, binoculars with this prism, but only the 56 millimeter models feature Abiconic prism. So it was a strange move for for Vortex to to move into this. Uh, into this category. Uh, however, it is true that uh, at the moment, if you're looking for a, a little bit more compact 8x42 binoculars with Abiconic Prism, this is basically the only choice on the market. And that's quite funny. The other thing what is also important is that these binoculars cost around 1,700 euros in Europe, which is really a lot. Um, and their quality is undisputable. It is however true that in this price range they compete directly against uh, Swarovski, Leica and Zeiss. And at least in the European market that's quite a challenge because all of those brands are acting on the market for more than 50 years. Zeiss for instance even more than 100 years. So I think this was a brave move uh, by Vortex. I do believe in the, in the US Vortex uh, has a really great brand awareness and a huge uh, fan base. So I think that uh, they will be more successful there than in the European Union where Swarovski, Zeiss and Leica have their own, I, was, I would say, main customer bases and uh, the biggest uh, fan uh, clubs or, or the, bigger, the biggest numbers of fans of their brand. Uh, if I talk a little bit more about the general looks and physical appearance and so on. You can see that these binoculars, they feature thumb rests, really nice. And in general, the build quality is really superb. So the focusing is central. It's quite uh, firm and it's quite slow. So that's that's a good thing because these binoculars with their, with their bright image, they're usually meant for, uh, for hunters, not for bird watchers. And you can see by focusing, it has uh, multiple rotations. And when you're using it in, a, in an open field, you see that the focus is slow and really accurate. And this is perfect what you need for hunting. 
the same thing what we can talk is that the eye cups are really of high quality really well made and you can see the fit and finish is it's perfect it is based on fit and finish it is uh, these are binoculars which are worth 1700 euros the the opter setting is on the right eyepiece it's lockable so you have to unlock it and then when you set it you lock it back into a position really nice really high quality the this i think is made out of magnesium the whole parts here and here you can see it's the swivel for the sling um, the lens covers on the other side are quite basic for this price price class uh, but they work and they they are stable firm and reliable like this it is true that in this class many of the competitors already have integrated lens covers uh, the weight is 900 grams which is a lot but don't forget this is an abe koenig these are the abe koenig binoculars and they are almost 18 centimeters long which is also normal because abe koenig prisms are much longer than schmidt and pechen prisms and i would suggest that you check our other videos where we explain the differences between prism systems and there you will see more there will you get more information regarding the differences between schmidt and pechen and abe koenig um so what do you get together with uh with these binoculars you get probably one of the nicest carrying bags on the market i i, I really like it it's really nicely made it's from great materials you have one additional carrying bag which can go up here then you get the normal round your neck carrying strap cleaning cloth the manual with all the needed information how to set up your binoculars the manual is really short but still it gives you all the information needed and you also get a VIP warranty this is a warranty which is unparalleled in the in in the world of sport optics you also get an additional harness for carrying these binoculars like I said they are 900 grams heavy so a harness already in the package is only uh, only beneficial okay uh, if I go to the eyepieces again they offer three different positions and even at the lowest position they uh, offer nice they are not out too much so you're able to use them with glasses without a problem because we know some more affordable cheaper uh, vortex binoculars and many others have problems that when you are using glasses with them you're never able to get the whole picture in plain sight so with this binoculars this is not a problem maybe this is also due to the reason that they have 17 millimeters of eye relief which is really a lot more than enough for for anyone um, if I talk a little bit more about the optical performance it's 8 by 42 uh, normal magnification and lens diameter and the field of view is 128 meters um, this is I would say average it could have been done a little bit better for 8x42 binoculars but I think that the main goal here was to achieve best possible light transmission rate which I'm sure it's above 90% maybe even above 92 93 uh, they're really bright as they should be because of the abeconic prism systems and all the coatings that uh, are applied to the lenses uh, optically speaking it's the binoculars are in the class of 1500 to 2000 euros without a problem uh, like in all reviews when i come to the end i do a short summary and i go through the sweet and sour so what is sweet uh, the sweet is that uh, vortex decided to go into the premium uh, I would say almost top class uh, of binoculars even though honestly speaking in in the real top top class there are only three players at the moment so the victory size victory SF uh, the Swarovski EL and uh, Leica Noctivit those are even more expensive we are talking 2500 euros plus so this is almost 1000 euros um, cheaper but still 
I would say this these binoculars they go directly in the class of SLC, uh, Trinovit, like a Trinovit uh, and size Conquest. Uh, in some cases, this they are even better because they are the only ones who offer abeconic prism. So, so uh, Vortex finally went into the top class with binoculars, and they offered abeconic prism. Because in, in terms of rifle scopes, at least tactical scopes, they are already in the premium class. If you look at their Razer tactical scopes, they are among the best. And they do compete with all the big famous European brands. Uh, what is also very positive if, is the build quality. The build quality is outstanding. Uh, and all the fit and finish and all the details are really, really nice on these binoculars. Um, so they do they are worth the money uh, i also like the design in general with this green color and the combination of colors and and uh, shapes and so on uh, they're really aesthetically appealing mm, i also think that the vip warranty is definitely the best out there so in this respect i think that uh, vortex is a benchmark to anyone else and this is also the reason why these binoculars are worth their price. Um, okay, what is sour? What could have been done better? First of all, I think that they should be doing 8 by 56 binoculars of this type. Because if you have abeconic prism, you produce binoculars for low light use. And for low light use, 8 by 56 configuration is the best. I also think that field of view could have been done a little bit better. I would say 135 is somewhere the limit where you need to be in this price class. Uh, even though, honestly speaking, size conquest uh, like Atrinovit are not much better. But still, I, I would prefer that they would offer almost 140 meters of field of view. Um, I also think that the price point for Vortex, because they are, uh, anyway, they are new in this class, if they would start a little bit uh, lower, let's say 10% lower, uh, they would gain a bigger customer audience, at least here in Europe. Because here in Europe, the competition between Leica, Zeiss and Swarovski is really, really fierce. And Vortex is coming into this fight. So with a little bit lower price, uh, I think they would be more successful, even though these binoculars are worth their price. The build quality, the optical quality and so on is on pair with others. They are, however, new. So, all in all, if you're looking for a really bright, well-made binoculars with uh, extremely good um, warranty, then this is the binoculars for you. It is, however, normally also true that you're buying a Vortex for 1,700 euros, and I think this will not be a problem 10 years from now, but in this moment, I think that still, at least in European, in, in European continent, in Europe, um, like uh, Zeiss and Swarovski have an edge in their brand awareness. They have a bigger uh, fan base here than, than uh, Vortex at the moment. But Vortex is, going, is coming there. I think Vortex is building its success step by step. So we will hear more about them in the future in this class of binoculars. Thank you for watching. Please check our other video reviews. And if you like this review, please subscribe to our YouTube channel.